Tokyo, a city that defies nature's every attempt to destroy it. A place where earthquakes, floods, volcanoes, and typhoons are an everyday reality. And yet, it thrives. This is a city that has been leveled by disaster time and time again. But each time, it rebuilds stronger, smarter, and more resilient. You might think Tokyo's unstoppable. But here's the shocking truth. Even Tokyo isn't safe from the future's greatest threats. In 2022, Japan's capital launched one of the most ambitious infrastructure projects in human history. A $100 billion initiative that aims to protect the city from the most catastrophic events imaginable. Earthquakes that could bring the city to its knees, volcanic eruptions that could wipe out entire districts, and floods that could drown it all. The goal? Total protection for 100 years. What does it take to secure a city that's constantly on the edge of disaster? How do you build a future-proof metropolis when every natural force on Earth seems to have its sights set on you? In this video, I'll take you deep inside the Tokyo Resilience Project, a groundbreaking plan that could reshape the way we think about disaster preparedness forever. This is not just about building barriers or floodgates. It's about rethinking how a city can survive, thrive, and adapt. This project is so massive, so complex, that it's unlike anything we've ever seen before. And it's happening right now in the heart of one of the world's most iconic cities. Are you ready to see how Tokyo is preparing for the future? Stay with me, because what you're about to discover will change the way you look at urban planning forever. Let's dive into the Tokyo Resilience Project. The Tokyo Resilience Project was born out of necessity. With more than 40 million people living in the greater Tokyo area, the city couldn't afford to wait for disaster to strike again. The cost? A staggering 17 trillion yen, or around 109 billion US dollars. This isn't just about patching up the city's existing defenses. It's about transforming Tokyo into a city that can handle anything the future throws at it. This massive project was launched in December 2022, with the goal of completing it in 18 years. And it's not just one or two new floodgates. It's a comprehensive plan to protect every corner of the city. Earthquakes, floods, tsunamis, volcanic eruptions. Tokyo is gearing up for all of them. One of the most critical aspects of this project is its scale. The TRP isn't just about building bigger and stronger walls. It's about creating a citywide system of defense. This means wide-ranging improvements, from soft infrastructure like evacuation routes and better emergency response times, to large-scale physical structures like massive underground tunnels and reinforced rivers. It's a citywide upgrade. The main goal is clear, to prepare Tokyo for every possible disaster and ensure it can recover quickly from anything that happens. The city's engineers and planners have identified no fewer than five major threats that Tokyo faces. It's not just about protecting the city from one type of disaster. It's about preparing for all of them. In the next section, we'll dive into the incredible infrastructure and innovations being built as part of the Tokyo Resilience Project. From massive tunnels that divert water to a new power grid that ensures Tokyo will never lose connectivity. Let's take a look at how Tokyo is getting ready to face the future. As we move forward, let's take a closer look at the kind of infrastructure being put in place to shield Tokyo from these relentless threats. One of the most impressive features of the Tokyo Resilience Project is the massive underground systems designed to handle flooding. You might not think of a city as sprawling as Tokyo as being prone to floods, but with its many rivers and canals running through it, flooding is a constant risk. To combat this, engineers have built the G-CAN system, a giant underground reservoir that collects flood water and channels it into a 6.5-kilometer tunnel. It can pump out 200 tons of water per second. The G-CANS is already one of the largest flood control systems in the world, but Tokyo isn't stopping there. The Resilience Project plans to double its capacity by constructing even bigger tunnels. This expanded system will handle up to 1.4 million cubic meters of rainwater, enough to empty London's rainfall for two months in a single hour. 
But flood control isn't the only focus. The city is preparing for the unimaginable when it comes to earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. In fact, Tokyo lies on the Pacific Ring of Fire, an area known for frequent seismic activity. Mount Fuji, a national treasure and active volcano, could one day erupt and threaten the city. But Tokyo isn't just sitting back and waiting for it to happen. They're actively planning for this worst-case scenario. New evacuation routes are being established, and rescue efforts have been enhanced to make sure that if Mount Fuji erupts, residents will be safely evacuated by specially chartered ships. For another major threat, earthquakes, Tokyo is already taking massive steps to protect its buildings. Take the Mori JP Tower, for example. This super-tall skyscraper completed in 2023 is a marvel of earthquake engineering. It's equipped with hydraulic dampers that absorb the shock of seismic movements, ensuring the building remains intact no matter what happens. In fact, these advanced seismic countermeasures are being implemented across Tokyo's tallest buildings, making sure that even the most vulnerable structures can withstand powerful quakes. Now, imagine a city that can handle everything – earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, floods, and even power outages. Tokyo's resilience plan includes a new power grid, which ensures that Tokyo will never experience a blackout again. Thanks to this grid, even if the city faces a natural disaster, its residents will still have access to power and communication. In addition to undersea cables, Tokyo is developing satellite capabilities and a cloud storage system to make sure that businesses stay connected and operational. But that's not all. There's also a focus on improving Tokyo's accessibility in emergencies. Thousands of kilometers of roads are being revamped, with utilities like power lines and cables moved underground to avoid fires during earthquakes or storms. This attention to detail is essential for keeping the city running smoothly and safely, no matter the disaster. And let's not forget about flooding. With sea levels on the rise, the city is preparing for future threats by raising seawalls to prevent flooding from storm surges. With climate change intensifying storms, these precautions are vital for Tokyo's survival. One of the most fascinating aspects of this project is the way it integrates technology. From monitoring seismic activity through Japan's National Research Institute for Environmental Hazards and Disasters NIED, to using cutting-edge simulation technology to predict earthquakes, Tokyo is not just waiting for disaster to strike. They are actively preparing in ways that were once unimaginable. In the end, the Tokyo Resilience Project is about more than just protecting buildings and infrastructure. It's about safeguarding the lives of millions of people. It's about ensuring that Tokyo, a city that has faced and survived so many disasters in the past, continues to thrive, no matter what the future holds. So, what can other cities learn from Tokyo's ambitious resilience plan? It's clear. Anticipate the worst, prepare for the unimaginable, and build for the future. If Tokyo can survive the next century of natural disasters, who knows what the future of urban planning will look like for the rest of the world? The Tokyo Resilience Project isn't just an engineering marvel. It's a testament to human ingenuity and the belief that no matter how great the threat, we can always find a way to protect what matters most. And Tokyo is leading the way in showing us how.